What's up you guys? John here. I hope you're having a great day and welcome to my studio. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to play Killing Me Softly on guitar. The music's originally written by Charles Fox, but we're going to be looking at the Roberta Flack version. If you're new here to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We post brand new guitar lessons every single day on the channel. And the goal of this channel is to reach as many people as possible and help the world get better at guitar. So don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy this video. All right, with that said, let's get into the lesson. There's three parts we're going to cover. The chorus, the intro, and the verse. The song starts off with the chorus, and it's just Roberta singing and then the piano lightly playing. And we're going to play whole notes. We start out on the chorus, which is strum in my pan. That's the melody there, so we're going to play strum in my pan. So that's how the tune starts off. It's just real light. The piano's just laying down the chords. So let's start off with that, and then later this is going to be the same progression that we play throughout the song when the band comes in. We'll just add more rhythm to it. So we've got an F minor. Here's the first four bars. We're going to go F minor to B flat minor 7, E flat to A flat. So those are the chords. For F minor, I'm starting on the A string at the 8th fret and playing 8, 10, 10, 9. You can go all the way if you want and bar to the high E string as well. The melody's right on the B string. Strumming my pain with is. Strumming my pain with. Then we go to B flat minor 7. That's going to be starting on the low E string, 6. Mute the A string. 6, 6, 6, B flat minor 7. Then E flat, back to the A string, 6, 8, 8, 8. Just a typical major bar chord. And then A flat, which I do as a Hendrix style thumb chord. You could do this chord, that's fine. I like playing these chords with my thumb, so I'm playing the fourth fret of the low E, mute the A string, and then 6, Five, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we go back up to F minor. Two, three, four. This time to a B flat over D chord. And this is a nice chord. It's what we call a, a first inversion B flat chord with the D in the bass. So I'm going to play the 10th fret of the low E, and then the 8th fret on the D string, 10th fret on the G string, and 11 on B. Then E flat again. Then we're going to play D flat, which is the same as E flat. We'll just drop it down two frets. Then A flat. Then D flat. So that all together, that's F minor. B flat over D, E flat, D flat, A flat, with his words, D flat, and then we've got the killing me softly, one, two, three, four, one, two, with his song. So the last four bars there are G flat major seven for two bars, and then F for two bars. So for G flat major seven, I actually would recommend playing this as well with the thumb and then this as well as a th with the thumb. That's a nice transition like that. So what I'm doing is two and then mute the A string, three, three, two. And then to the same shape that we use for A flat, just on the first fret here for F. So from, you know, a killing me softly with his song. So we got killing me softly with his song, killing me E flat. And I 
like to do this rhythm where you just double the melody with his song. All right, so that's the chorus section. The next section we're going to look at goes to the intro, and this is where the band comes in. It's just a vamp between an E flat 11 to an E flat 9. that is is for E flat 11 I'm just using one finger to bar from the A to the B string on the 6th fret. You can go all the way if you want and get the high E. I like the 4 notes. I think that's a good sound. And then I'm going to an E flat 9 which is 6 5 6 6. I'm just dropping that note down a half step. It's a really cool sound. This is just what we call a vamp. You know, so the band's just sort of simmering until we're ready for the verse, which is the next section. And then... Then the vocal comes in, you know, I heard he sang a good song. So let me play this last section for you, which is the verse. Here's what it's gonna sound like. there. So what we're playing here, I'll break it down four bars at a time. We've got B flat minor 7. Should be a familiar chord from the chorus. Then we go to E flat 9 for a bar. That's a familiar chord from the intro, right? 6, 5, 6, 6. Then A flat, which is also used in the chorus and D flat major seven. So instead of our D flat chord, this time we're gonna play a major seven. It's a nice kind of jazzier sound here. It's real mellow. We're gonna play to the fourth fret of the A string, sixth fret on the D string, fifth fret on the G string, and sixth fret on the B string. It's D flat major seven. Then we'll do B flat minor seven again to E flat nine to F minor for two bars. So that's that F minor there is the only time in the verse where we hold a chord for two bars. Otherwise, every other chord gets four counts. So one, two, three, four, a one, two, three, four, 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 five. Then we go back to B flat minor 7, and here's the last four bars. So you'll notice that it's just like the first four bars, except for we change the last chord. We're going to play B flat minor 7 to E flat 9 then A flat for a bar. Now here's that change. Da, 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 taking us to the chorus. <laughs> okay, so what I did there was I substituted instead of like we did the first four bars where we went to the D flat major seven and bar four, this time we're gonna go to a C seven. So we go B flat minor seven, E flat nine, A flat, C7. Now this chord starts on the A string, 3-5-3-5. Three, five, three, five. Now the melody is like, uh, stranger to my eyes, strumming. So that's the melody there, so sometimes I'll double that with my pinky there. So what I did was make it like a C7, C7, sus, by moving that pinky note up, and then playing 
the G on the third fret of the high E. Stranger to my eyes, strumming my pain. Back to the chorus. So let's play the verse and the chorus one time through. We'll end on the F chord. Here we go. One, two, three, four. There you go, guys. That's a simple rhythm approach to killing me softly. Hope you learned some new chords and got some value out of today's video. Be sure to subscribe if you're new here. And also, before you go, I've got a free gift for you. In the description below, you can get a PDF that's over 100 pages long, all about soloing. Check that out as my gift to you. It's a book I wrote called Melodic Expressions. If you want to support me, you can buy it on the iTunes bookstore for $15, or you can get it for free in the description below. All right, keep practicing, and we'll see you guys in the next one.